Two queens, one blonde. Two queens, two blonde. Two queens, one blonde. Just two. two queens, one blonde. Two queens, you better spark it up with two queens and a blonde. Two queens, one blonde. Two queens, one blonde. Two queens, one blonde. Two queens, one blonde. You better spark it up with two queens and a blonde. Ebony. Zamora. We're back. Oh my gosh. It's season three. Already? Girl. Hey. <laughs> Did you miss us? What's going on, everybody? Hey, it's me, Zamora Love. And I'm here, Ebony Delight Zamora. And baby, we missed you guys. Did you miss us? Yeah, they missed us. Because I know I missed y'all. Girl, they better had. Ebony, it's season three of Two Queens, One Blood, bitch. Wow. I cannot believe that we are starting it off with a bang. And uh, we got a, a new little backdrop. Do you like uh-huh. the new little setup? The drag room is actually put together and it looks like a studio in here a little bit. It's giving, you know, production. We got decorations and things. <laughs> it's organized. It looks right. Well, I'm so excited. I've been waiting and ready to get back on the pod. I know you've been ready to get back on the pod. Yes. Look at that. We've only been gone for like less than a, well, a month. That's all. Okay. So we were supposed to come back last week. However, we had to push it a little bit. But when we pushed it, I thought to myself, girl, last time we were gone for six months. <laughs> so they could take a month and a week. That's right. Right. It was a holiday. Everybody was out celebrating last week. It's right. okay. Right. Y'all are fine. Y'all are fine. Well, anyway, girl, um, I forgot how we do the opening. Do you remember the opening? Um, it's season three. We changed things up, remember? Oh, it is season three. We should probably change up the opening. Well, point is, we're back. We're ready. And uh, we're grab black. a blood. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're definitely back. <laughs> We're going to remember what the opening is, and we'll have that ready for you guys on episode two. But right now, this is Two Queens, One, one blind. blind. Two Queens. Two Queens, One Blind. Just two. Hey, hey. Ooh, 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 ooh. One Blind. Ooh. Oh, not the. Mm-hmm. Let me turn off the volume on my computer. My bad. Ebony. What's the tea, girl? Oh my God, Z, it's been forever. I was actually, I mean, let me tell you what I've been up to for the last month. Yes, um, give it to me. Give me your month recap. My recap. It was Pride Month. It was wonderful. I, I did a lot of work. Got a lot of overtime, which was Love nice. That. So got the coin coming in. Cha ching. And then at the end, I actually put on a couple shows. I was performed and got a little twirl action in. Nice. Where? I was over in Shorewood at the Critical Cafe. I love that. With the Jolly Ed Pride Network. Um, actually, some of them came out there to come see it too. It was a very lot. It was a fun little time out there, and it's a cute little shop. And then I also had a show at Crave. Okay. I went out there for Miss Talia Damore. She asked me to come out and I said, you know what? I'll come out and do a show for you. Shout out to Talia, friend yes. of the pod. Hey, Talia. And um, so that was a lot of fun. I um, That was pretty much all I did. Um, I've, I actually have my setup. I know I keep saying, oh, when I do my streaming, when I get my streaming, but I just got my <laughs> green light for TikTok live. Wait, so what do you mean? They just sent me a message saying to me I can go live. Oh, wait, so you can basically monetize now? You got you you got a following on TikTok, girl? I don't know, girl. I know I looked at my numbers. They don't say what I see, but <laughs> they sent me the thing and said I could do it. And I said, oh. And then I tested it and it put me on live. And I said, oh. And I jumped off because I wasn't quite ready for live. I just didn't think it was going to work. And it did. It did. And I said, ooh, let me pop off just as fast as I got on. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so now that I know that I can do this, mm-hmm. baby, I'm it's, coming. It's lights, camera, action. Yes. Lights, camera, MF in action. I love that. Uh, Ebony, your eyebrows look a little bit different today. Yes, I painted them on. (laughs) (laughs) Y'all know I had to be shady boots, girl. Uh, While I was just sitting here uh, throwing on this little, uh, this little, this little top, I um, was chatting with my girl and she explained to me that 
you know, today she was in just such a fuck it mood that she just took a razor to the brows and shaved off her brows. They're gone. While she was shaving her face. All the hair's gone on my face. <laughs> so <laughs> she's gonna look real crazy. I'm giving you Jada Pinkett. <laughs> 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 bitch you're giving us um uh somebody else who is normally on the podcast but is not here right now oh um and let's just 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 to you know touch on it um i have not fired princess booty shorts so she is still technically in the cast however uh we will be seeing a lot more of ebony this season and right now, you know, oh, Princess is on uh, probation. <laughs> <laughs> probation? Yeah, she got the ankle bracelet on? She's on probation right now. So she'll, she'll be here eventually. But right now. You're going to put her on set of rest. Yeah. So she <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So how was your pride? Uh, girl, this pride season was actually really good for me. Um, I had a few private corporate gigs that were a lot of fun. Um, I hosted Pride Fest at Splash the whole weekend. Uh, that was a blast. We got lit boots. Um, and then when it came down to the actual Pride Parade, the gag is I had off. What? Bitch, I had off. So the entire Sunday, I was at home in my bed. <laughs> relaxing having a beautiful day and i was just like damn this is the first time in years that i don't have to be at pride so i'm not going <laughs> <laughs> not you going because it was a requirement absolutely absolutely i at this state in the game like you know i've been doing drag for seven years now so at this point for me if i'm outside most of the time I'm being paid to be out there. Um, so that's why y'all don't see me a lot outside because I'm not one of those girls who's always like, oh, I want to turn up and go out with y'all. Like, I have no problem hitting up my girls and being like, let's go get something to eat. Let's go, like, you know, to a movie. Let's go do something chill outside of the club. Something with controlled weather or temperature. Uh, definitely with AC in the summertime. But, you know, point is, I don't necessarily always want to be out on the scene. So when I have those moments where I don't have to, oh, I took full advantage of it. It was lovely. Um, things have been going amazing at Lips. Uh, things have been going amazing at Sway. Uh, they asked me to be a influencer for Sway. And I made a little commercial. On Instagram? Yeah, did you I see it? I saw it. it. <laughs> Where your friend didn't have her ID. China Bell. Oh, wait, she did have her ID, but it expired. <laughs> <laughs> girl so the gag is everybody and their mom thought that that was like planned it was not planned that was a hundred thousand percent just like coinkadink and it was a good life lesson girl now you know girl i had me gag that's why all i could do was just crack up laugh but um yeah so i'm now you know an influencer for Sway, so they definitely uh, will be uh, putting us on some product like today, uh, what we'll be smoking on. We'll get into that in just a second. Um, but yeah, shout out to Sway. If you guys want any weed or any edibles or any, you know, CBD product, we're not like CBD, CBD. Most of the CBD stuff that we have does have THC with it because we are a dispensary. Uh, but, you know, any of the things, any tinctures, any um, pre-rolls, concentrates, all those wonderful things, go check us out at Sway, your new gay North Halstead dispensary. That's right. Taste the <laughs> rainbow. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, life has just been really good for me. Um, the last couple days, I have just really felt like I'm coming back into myself. Like, I'm not going to lie, Ebony, this, the last year I was in a very dark place. And I don't know if everybody else around me was feeling it and noticing it and just not saying shit. But, yeah, I was in a really dark space. You were, that's why I tried to make you laugh when I come around. <laughs> 
but I finally feel like, you know, I have come up out of her and we are back to our vibrant, bright, full of life self. And it's okay to have those moments where you're just down and out sometimes and then you just got to bounce back. But when you bounce back, you got to bounce back hard, girl. You got to sock it to them. So right now I am in my sock it to them era. I am hustling hard. And just because y'all might not see me up and down the Boydstown Halstead Strip does not mean the doll is not working. Because let me tell you right now, don't be watching my pockets. But bitch, my bank account ain't never been as more full as it is right now. Hey. (laughs) I'm like, bitch. (laughs) Okay. If you don't know, now you know. Nigga. Oh. Oh, that's last season words. I don't use that. Uh, Anyway, uh, things have just basically been going really well. And I'm very thankful. And yeah. Well, you guys can also let us know how things are going for you in our comments. Please do. Update us. We miss you. There's several people who we've had uh, conversations and communications with. And, you know, we've bonded with you and we love you. And you're not just our fans and supporters. You're family. So update us. Let us know what the tea is. What's been going on with you guys for the last month. We've missed you. And if you happen to spot us somewhere, let us know where. Uh, Speaking of spotting, uh, Heather, the general manager of Men's Room. And boy sound across the street from Sway mm-hmm. spots me all the time. And all the time, Heather is always so sweet. So shout out to you, Heather. One of these days we're gonna smoke. I know. I always try to smoke with Heather, but she's working. Mm. And she can't smoke while she's working. You better come out on break. Well, one time she was out on break and I tried to get her to smoke, but she was like, No, I can't. I was like, All right, girl. So just smoke around her. No, 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 Heather. That's exactly what I did. That's exactly what I did. (laughs) Uh, Speaking of smoking, are you ready to spark something up? Girl, my lower back is saying yes. (laughs) Bitch, let's go into what you're smoking on, girl. What you're smoking, what you're smoking on, what you're smoking, what you're smoking, tell me what you're smoking on, what you're smoking, what you're smoking on, what you're smoking, what you're smoking on, what are we smoking on? All right, so today we are smoking a 93 Boys infused 1.5 gram pre roll blunt, and we are smoking the Jealousy Thin Mints. Shout out to Sway. We got this from Sway. If you want to get into some good old 93 Boys, go to Sway at 3340 North Halstead Street in Chicago, Illinois, and get yourself some 93 boys. Yes. How many are in there? It's just one. It's a blunt. Oh, why? It's such a big package. Well, that's because they put it in a tube. Oh. Look at them being all You smell it as soon as I opened up that motherfucker. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. She's real danky on her. Oh my gosh, and it's fat. Infu- right, and it's infused in keef. So, Thank bitch, you. you're about to be high in a motherfucking kite. Thank you, Keith. It's infused <laughs> with you. <laughs> you're full. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to spark this up. This might be a little difficult to smoke just because it's a keef blunt, and I forgot it's a keef blunt. But, I mean, you gotta, like, you gotta breathe it in harder? Yeah, you okay. gotta. I got strong lungs. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> they don't call me the Hoover for nothing. Ebony! I'm sorry. Mom, ignore that. It's, it's, I'm talking about food, because I, I start for dinner. Oh. Oh. I'm scared. Never mind. <laughs> Girl. Call me Heather. Just smoke around me. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> The immediate high. Are you ready? It's the Shaka Khan hair for me. That came after that. <laughs> <laughs> Captured effortlessly. That's the way it was. <laughs> like a big old cigar. I'm scared a little bit. Oh, that's pretty. Right? And it's tasty. I don't know why I was making it go up my nose. 
Because that's a good way to smoke. That's how I smoke. Mm-hmm. However, comma, you're definitely going to be high as fuck when you do it that way. So be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, okay. We've <coughs> we sparked up for the day. I think we should move into word on the street. Are you ready to get into some tea? Ebony yes. Said, <laughs> Ebony said, I'm trying to survive right now, bitch. <laughs> Ebony said, let me get this water open and drink before I cough my life out. <laughs> <laughs> that bottle cup did not want to come off. It was like, I'm hanging on. Girl. But it's okay. okay. I got to it. I won't tell nobody. I promise I'll tell nobody. I won't tell nobody. I promise I'll tell nobody. I won't tell nobody. I promise I'll tell nobody. I won't tell nobody. I promise I'll tell nobody. Well, word on the street is. Alright, so uh, there's a couple of topics that I just wanted to touch on for some shit that is going on in the streets, honey. Um, There was so much that we didn't get to touch on over the last month. So some of these have happened like a week or two ago, uh, but some of the most of it is all recent within like the last couple days. First thing I want to talk about, though, Meg's new album. I liked it. I hated it. Really? Yeah. Um, okay, I'm not going to say I hated it, but I wasn't a fan. I listened to it twice, and what I gathered from it is that no matter how much pressure Meg is under, or no matter what Meg is being asked of, Meg is only going to have one flow. She's going to have one mm-hmm. sound. Not one flow. Let me not say that because she does switch up her flow, but it's the same fucking, you know. She still has that same. Matter one all. two one two one two yeah, one two. She kind of does the Eminem thing. I found out a little bit on some of her records. I was like, girl, the rhyming at the end. I'm like, some of it's cute. I said, but it gets a little old. I was like, because I know she got the vocabulary to do better. Her so it's not the lyrics. It's not the lyrics. It's just like she refuses to do anything different. It's what it's giving. Like it's giving very much so I'm good at this. Y'all like when I do this. So I'm going to just keep doing this. And I'm not mad at it. If it's not broke, don't fix it. However, it is broke though. You just might not see the crack in it. Because it's in the back. But we in the back and we can see the crack. It's broke, girl. Stop. You got to fix it. I will say, with that being said, the songs that I liked on the album. Favorite song, hands down, is Worthy. I cannot listen to Worthy without crying. Such a powerful song. Every time that I just keep on singing that, Chorus, I'm worthy, not worthless, I'm worthy, not worthless, I'm worthy, not worth. Okay, you did, you start feeling that after a while. And it's like, okay, bitch. And sometimes you got to tell yourself that, especially when you be going through some shit. So love that song. I also liked Hiss, even though it was a diss, I, bitch popped her shit on it. You, you got to give credit where it's due. I liked Where Them Girls At. Yeah. I liked Boa. And I like Moody Girl. Okay. That was it. See, I like. And Moody Girl was barely on there. I like BAS. Um. Here, here's the thing. I'm not going to say I didn't like it. But I feel like the songs that I picked were the songs that sounded different. Mm. Everything that I didn't name sounded like everything else on the album. True, but I like BAS only because it made me think of Old Faithful. And that's how we were. And I was like, I feel you. Who's Old Faithful? We both ain't shit. Don't worry. Oh, wait. No, we need to dive into Old Faithful. Because if you call somebody Old Faithful, that means they still around. Ebony, who's Old Faithful? I don't know. I have to see him. It's like, you know. You get you get, you get your back blown out? No. I should call Old Faithful. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, no, ma, don't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh-huh. Your mother knows what's up, okay? Your mother has needs too. She probably has an old faithful. No. Or has had an old faithful. She was married and had me, and then she stopped. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, with that being said, it's no hate to Meg. Meg is a very talented individual. Um, I just want her to go to the next level. You are the it girl. We we will give you that. You are the next up, okay? You are that girl, okay? Now it's time to act like it. When you get on a stage, bitch, you're untouchable. Your performance is out of this fucking world. Yes. The energy is unmatchable. It's just, it's nasty and it's fucking sick work, okay? It's very disgusting work. And we give credit where credit is due here. But I need you to take that same unmatchable energy and I need you to put that in your music. I need your music to become unmatchable. And right now, it's matchable. Because I'm going to tell you one thing, and one thing is for sure, and two things is for certain. If you are doing the same one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, there's another bitch who's going to catch up and do the same one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And you just better hope that your one, two is a little bit better than theirs. And let me tell you, I fuck with Meg so hard because Meg makes me want to throw my ass, right? Meg makes you want to shake ass, right? Yes. So let me say, yeah, and I and I know what song you're talking about. I thought I was going to live for that one. I didn't. Um, with that being said, the new girl for me that makes me want to throw ass is Sexy Red. Is the talent the same? Absolutely not. However. It's better than Ice Spice. And it's that same one, two, one, two. All of Sexy Red shit sound the same. All of Megan shit sound the same. Sexy Red shit is just more fun. So if, my, if I'm going to listen to a bitch that sounds the same every time I hear her, I would at least rather it be somebody that's a little bit more fun when I'm having, like, you know? Mm-hmm. And that used to be Meg for me, but then Sexy came through. So it's like, all right, Meg, now is when you need to go to the next level. True. Because you've opened the door. The girls saw, okay, people just want to see some ratchet shit. People just want to shake their ass and have a good time. So now the girls are doing all of that, shaking their ass. And I can't even say Meg opened that door. Cardi opened that door. Meg just kicked the door open. Like, Cardi slowly started opening, like, hey. But then, you know, she just stood there with the door kind of cracked, just looking through because the bitch never released any new music. Where's that album? And she in Paris. <laughs> Celebrating uh, culture's birthdays. And she can be in Paris, but you can record in Paris. They got studios out there. Niggas in Paris was recorded in Paris. All I know is her veneers upset me when she was talking about, we going to Paris. And I was like, I was like, girl, you look like a puppet. Bitch, her veneers have upset me since the day she got them. (laughs) They make her talk with more of a lisp than anything. And I'm like, girl, do they fit right? <laughs> I just don't know. I no, don't get mad, Cardi. I'm sorry, but girl, absolutely not because Cardi got off. my favorite song out right now. Enough, mm-hmm. bitch. That's my favorite song out right now. That's right, Buck. If you Buck, uh, uh, okay. Well, those aren't the words. I'm going to call Diamond because Nuck if you buck. Okay, there you go. <laughs> because I'm 32 flavors of this bootylicious bubble gum. Raspberry, grape, cherry. Come, Come and get, get this honey, honey bun. bun. Yeah, 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 baby. Not your so ordinary lady. I'm going to drive a nigga crazy. Yeah. Really, walk him on the daily. On the daily. Off, off the hizzle. Rock, rock my hizzle. Drink my skittles. Show the pop and rock and skittle. Man, this shit right here. The shizzle. All right. We're back. Sorry, I got lost in it a little bit. Okay. Okay. Did you see the Doja Cat's page got hacked today? I don't think I'm breathing right. <laughs> what? Ebony. <laughs> it was working before. It's not working for me now. Let me see it. It might be clogged a little. Oh, no. It's going. I see it. It's just, you remember I told you they're a little difficult? I don't get no smoke like I was before. I was coming out right, my right, nose right. and out my face. It's because, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh do you need a, a tray? Yeah, let me see it. Uh, 
Uh, only you can prevent forest fires. Just don't go in the forest with no fire. And you're good. Speaking of forest fires, how about California saying, fuck that firework ban? Did you see the video of fireworks looking like Bob's over ba- or fireworks of uh, Los Angeles looking like Bob's over Baghdad with all the fireworks <laughs> going off real crazy and literally they too low. Banned, absolutely banned them. And they were like, do not set it off. We are in danger of wildfires. And the motherfuckers was out there like, fuck y'all. Bombs over Baghdad. Very that. Anyway, girl, uh, Doja's uh, account apparently got hacked, quote unquote. She says, I don't believe it. There was a, uh, there was a, um, not a tweet. Uh, no, it was a tweet. Yeah, wasn't it on X? Yeah, it was on X. Wait, is that what are the or what are they called now? Since it's yeah. on X, are they called X's? Um, there was an X. Um, I don't know. Or are we still calling them tweets? We still call them tweets, as far as I know. Okay, because otherwise we don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> right, because I'm like, bitch, what the fuck is it? <laughs> you like X's and check marks? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, uh, there was a tweet that Doja Cat ended up uh, putting out there, and it said, fuck that stupid bitch Iggy Azalea, Azalea. Yeah. and by Doja. And yeah, with the dollar sign. And then, like, you know, not right after that, but a little bit after that, she ended up saying that her account was hacked and mm. she didn't say that. She's just trying to give Iggy some attention. I think she's full of shit. I think the bitch said it. This is Doja Troll Cat. Well, I know, but I'm just so saying Meg just released her album. Ain't nobody talking about Doja. Doja wanted to get her kitty name out there again. She said, kittens, pay attention to me. Girl. My tech, my page got hacked. To be honest, it's nice to take a break from Doja. (laughs) (laughs) And that's fucked up because that's my girl. (laughs) It's working now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you got to poke it around in the inside, you know. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Also, comment below. Let us know what you guys think of our new cover art for the pod. Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Let us know. Um, I'm going to do one more just quick. I just want to briefly touch on it briefly touch on it like real quickly touch on it and then we're going to move on to the next segment (sighs) the presidential debate yes what about it all i want to say is this biden said that he is determined to remain in the presidential race against trump all i'm going to say is this democrats put your feelings aside and stand by your man that's your man and you need to stick beside him okay and if not just root for harris no <clears throat> oh oh you mean like kamala yes like that's who you're re- yes. okay yes okay yes, okay because honestly if y'all think he about to drop she she's would be the, next be the one, one yes. to step up and then if she does good for that time she can run <laughs> for her own and, it, and you know if they elect her once <laughs> They'll probably elect that twice. Here's the thing, though. That'll be 10 years almost, uh, most likely. Here's the thing, though. I'm going to put this out for a second. Yeah. The people don't like her. That let's Just call True. a spade a spade. Mm. The people don't like her. And this is why I'm just saying that Democrats, y'all just need to stick together. Because here's the thing. The Republicans already know who they're voting for. Trump. Period. And they're going to stick together. And that's why he's going to have so many numbers. Project 2025. If we are sitting here talking about. (coughs) Oh, Joe's so old. Now I don't want to vote for him because of that debate. He didn't even he could barely talk. He was stammering over himself. He's only three years older than the Republican runner. Here's the thing. (laughs) Fuck that. Stick beside your man, bitch. Because at the end of the day, when you're splitting the vote, when you're trying to do the whole, well, I'm not going to vote for him. I'm going to go vote for a third party. Let's get real. The third party is not going to win. 
why is the third party not going to win? Because the third party would need the same amount or more votes than Trump is going to get. We already know Trump is about to get a shitload of votes. So we need to make sure that all of our votes are going for the same person. Suck it up, buttercup. You might not want to vote for him. I don't want to vote for him, but I'm going to. So sometimes (laughs) you just got to take one for the team, bitch. (laughs) And we're taking this one for the team. Okay, that's right. Because, girl, that Project 2025, I can't even talk about it. We're not going to talk about it. No, it's a bit scary. Yeah. Um, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> sorry. Yeah, I don't like to talk about that. Well, I do like to talk about it because I think people need to know about it if they're not paying right. attention. But, but yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a scary piece of parchment. It's 900 pages of parchment. <laughs> And so hopefully we don't even have to worry about that. But right now, y'all just need to get y'all shit together and suck it up, Buttercup. We're voting for Biden. Yes. So I said what I said. Anyway, we have a new th- another segment that we're going to dive into before we take a break. Or should we take a break? Let's take a break first, actually. Okay. Let's take a quick little break. And then when we come back, we're going to dive into bring it to the light. Bring it to the light. All right. We'll be right I was like, oh, wait a minute. So you know how blind it is? I have no idea what's going on on that screen. I can't see anything but the little light square. Oh, the blessings of being the talent and only having to worry about talent things. I'm just saying I can't see it from here. I had to get closer <laughs> without my glasses on. My glasses. <laughs> All right, we're back. <laughs> And uh, we're ready to bring some things to the light. Are you ready to bring some things to the light, Ebony? Bring it to the light, Marianne. <laughs> Come on, Zora. It's Zora. Zora? Who the hell is Zora? Okay, so you want to talk about Zora. Let's talk about it. So it's funny that you say that because uh, Victoria LePage, um, I work with her at Lips. And I had to tell her the other day because it is so funny to me. She is the auntie that just refuses to call you by the right name. (laughs) I feel like she knows that my name is Zamora. And I feel like she said it wrong a couple times. The people checked her a couple times. And she didn't like the fact that people like tried to correct her on what the name was. So she chose to say it wrong every time from then on out. Because when I tell you, she religiously calls me Zadora. (laughs) (laughs) Zadora. It's kind of cut, though. Zadora. It's kind of (laughs) cut. And I said, if I ever have a drag daughter, her name will be Zadora. It's cut. Oh, my gosh. Is she going to have to have a bob cut and wear a pink shirt and shorts and a backpack? Okay. And always be in some fucking boots. (laughs) Zora. Okay. Zadora. Very that Dora. it was cut. Anyway, bring it to the light. 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 Don't be scared, baby. Bring it to the light. Bring it to the light. Bring it to the light. Bitch, you better bring it to the light. Bring it to the light. Air that nigga out, bitch. Bring it to the light. Let's start with something a little bit more simple, okay? Okay. So, in Bring It to the Light, we are going to dive into some confessions, some things that people needed to get off their chest and put it out there into the universe because they've been holding on to it. Ooh. Oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. (laughs) Wait, why is it not working? Because she ain't had no shoes or nothing, Jesus. (laughs) She ain't had no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. I'm trying to go to the link. Is it because it's a picture? Hold on. Open link. You know what? You might need to drop it in hot link. Nope, it's opening. See, Not hot link. Ebony. (laughs) <laughs> I just have not used my computer No shade I have not used my computer since the last episode And I had to edit <laughs> Wow Oh no 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 Oh no no that's the truth actually Okay perfect it's pulled up here we go 
I ripped out a girl's hair because I couldn't roast her. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is a confession that was posted three days ago. And it says, when I was 11 or 12, I don't remember, I ended up in a roast battle with a 13-year-old girl from my neighborhood. I was losing badly in front of about five of my close friends and extremely embarrassed. Things slowly got more aggressive, and it was at the point where everyone around me was making fun of me. I, at the time, was not taking any medication for my anger issues, which are now treated much better. I took aggression and went to tackle her. Everyone was yelling at me, telling me to stop. But at this point, I didn't care. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but I know that this incident caused that girl to move out with a bunch of bruises, cuts, and about half of the hair, which I was told she spent almost her whole life growing, pulled out by me. That day, I lost six friends. Oh, Sharkeisha, no. Not Sharkeisha. (laughs) (laughs) I wonder how Sharkeisha's doing. (sighs) (laughs) at least she's medicated now girl first of all why you pull that girl hair out though (laughs) she said she said she blacked out she couldn't take the talk no more she's like I can't make fun of you no more I'm gonna just beat you up why you pull that girl hair out you could have did anything you did not have to put she must have had good hair she, she must have had real good hair. She, and you must have been feeling away. She was getting roasted. She got high. She got burned up. And she couldn't take it no more because she couldn't give it Girl. Back. And then said, I'm going to pull this bitch's hair out. She's like, you know what? We just going to fight. You want to keep her with the cup of deep. <laughs> it's, for me, wait, I'm sorry. For me, it's the top comment just being so fucking, oh my God. They said, you lost the roast battle and your friends. Massive L. Good luck. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Did you go back and beat them up? You ain't my friend no more. <laughs> well, I, I, I want to know were the friends friends with the girl who got her hair pulled out? Or did the friends just see you as a crazy, deranged psycho and were like, oh, we can't be friends with her? I said, if I saw a friend snatch another friend bald, I kind of be leery of the snatching friend. <laughs> <laughs> you know, wait, I have seen it happen before. Now that I think about it, uh, you know, when the girls used to have those little schoolyard fights in like middle school and high school, yeah. a lot of the girls would have braids, mm, and you them. would see those braids all over the floor. Indeed, sometimes. Mm-hmm. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. yes. And then the next time you saw a homegirl, she had a couple patches. <laughs> Their the hair was swung to one side, or she was suddenly wearing a hat. <laughs> see, but nowadays a lot of now that a lot of the ladies like to wear extensions in, even the, the Caucasian ladies. Girl, they don't even really wear extensions no more. These hoes is wearing wigs. No, but I used to, back then they used to find like the the add-in parts. You'd be like, oop. Kind of like on Bad Girls Club. They'd be like, look, I got some weave. You'd be like, oh, well, you snatched it out. Uh, you got her little clips out. I'm trying to give her full of hair. Not full of hair. Okay. Um, we have another story to bring to the light. Oh. Um, but give me one moment because I need to switch over to not the ad blockers popping up. What the hell is going on over here? Sounds like the ad blockers. Um, I need oh. to what? It's kicking in because I'm having fun with the lights over there. Because I was like, are those little bullheads? And I'm like, wait, that's the light. Where? The light. Oh, bitch. And looking at it is so bright. See, I kind of break it apart and it's not that bright to me. Wow, I am so upset. It won't let you in? It was removed. <gasps> oh. And it was a good one, too. Do you want to know what the title was? Yes. The title was, I Stumbled Upon My Aunt's Porn Debut Shoot. I thought that was something you were going to talk about. Bitch. I was so curious i was waiting for that segment to come up now we know that we'll never know 
that that story. Oh my god, wait, I found it. No, 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 that was not <laughs> it. That's not it. I got real excited. You really did. You made it think like you probably made them jump in the car if they were driving. They're like, oh wait, what? That part. Oh. Well, oh well. If you guys are liking the cast so far, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're not a new subscriber yet. I know you're tired of hearing me say that, but subscribe and I'll stop. Well, it was your first time saying it, and it's the first episode of a new season, so I don't think they're tired of hearing you say it. That was my third time this episode. Was it really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it was my first time hearing you say it. <laughs> I love how you focus on what I say. You're like, wind tunnel, wind tunnel, wind tunnel. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. No. Um. Well, since... The one that I wanted to read is not there. Uh, we're just going to wrap up this segment. I'm not going to go searching for a new one. Uh, we got other things to discuss, girl. <laughs> That's right. All right. So, uh, question of the day. I've got questions. Do you got the answer? It's time for question of the day. Has the modern online dating ruined courtship? You know what? No. Why not? I think the broken home is broken up courtship because nobody sees it anymore. Damn, bitch. What? I wasn't expecting that. What? <laughs> the broken home. Ooh. I mean, if you're blessed enough to, to grow up in a home with, you know, the, the nuclear together, mm-hmm. beautiful. Bless your hearts. But there's a lot of us out here who do not. And then we don't get to see the example of that happy courtship bond. We see the, oh, who was that? That was supposedly my Uncle George. And then, oh, wait a minute. That was my Uncle Bub. And that was my Uncle Lewis. And you then, sure do got a lot of uncles. That's right. And I'd be like, where are they never at the family reunions? You know? <laughs> but no. But I'm just saying, I feel bad for some because we, we don't have the examples anymore. It's not even on TV. It's all hookup culture. You wanna, you just want to get that endorphins and leave. You don't know how to, you know, forgive after a fight. You don't know how to work through those those processes. So it's harder for people to stay together. Why am I talking like that? That's why I'm single. Because you get on my nerves. <laughs> Who got on your nerves? Whoever it was, because they ain't with me now. Uh, oh, oh, uh, apparently it was uh, Mr. Uh, no, not Old Faithful. Old Faithful. Oh. No, not Old Faithful. <laughs> you said Old Faithful is Old Faithful for a reason. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me personally, I would say I wouldn't fully blame modern online dating for ruining courtship. But what I would say is that it has played a major part. You no longer have to actually invest and get to know someone. You can literally pull up a profile and they're about you. You can find out everything you need to know. And if they have a picture, it's even better. You can find out their height, weight, age, how many kids, they lie. what they do for work, if they drive, top or bottom where they live what they do for fun you can see their social media and then all based off of that you make the decision do you want to talk to this person or not talk (laughs) so I think that that kind of has aided in ruining courtship because now it's like the profiles are doing the work for you but well, I also think the economy does too. <laughs> Has to do with it. Because now everything's so expensive. If you even try to go on a date now, you feel like you kind of, if you're not paying for the date, you got to pay for the date. Okay, so then I, I blame social mm-hmm. media then. Because here's the thing you don't have to go and spend money on a date. A date could be we literally just went to the park and hung out, we literally just spent time together doing some cute romantical shit. However, with the age of social media, 
everybody feels as though they need to post, 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 and people need to see things. And so now we've become accustomed to, oh, he got me this. He got me that. Oh, he really loves me. He took me here. He spent that. He did this. He did that. She did this. She did that. And now it's like, okay, everybody expects when you go on dates, now you got to go to these lavish places Mm -hmm. or you got to spend all this money just to go get to know somebody when in reality you don't have to. So I guess you could also blame social media, which also goes hand in hand with online dating. Which goes all the way back to the broken home because you're looking for somebody to be with. (laughs) Now, wait a minute. (laughs) You're not looking for somebody to be with because you came from a broken home, bitch. (laughs) You can have a a completely fine home and you still want to be with somebody. (laughs) The hell? (laughs) A shame and a scandal, girl. A shame and a scandal. Uh, Comment below and let us know what you guys think of the question of the day. Has the modern online dating ruined courtship? Let us know what you think. And do you even know what courtship is? And have you ever experienced courtship? And we're not talking about going to court and seeing Judge Judy. (laughs) Or would you you gag if you went to court and your judge was Judge Judy? I would live because I'd want to set her off. So that way you could go to jail? No, she doesn't send you to jail. She doesn't have that power. That's at her court. But if she's at another court, let's say she's filling in for like, girl, you go to court for something serious. Like she going to do court somewhere else where she ain't getting a million per, per case. She ain't. That part. Right. No. I wouldn't mind going on. You know what? I'm going to take you on Judge Judy. Oh, okay. I would love to see it. Yeah. I know you know I'm a Libra. My case will be very solid. I'm a Virgo. You know I'll have the details down. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. You know I love a receipt. Oh, right, cuz I wrote it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to say what I say. say. <laughs> anyway, somebody please get this girl some milk. She needs some help. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, uh, we got one more segment to dive in before we wrap up this podcast episode today. Um, this segment here um, is called Gas or Ass. Ooh, baby, come and get this. You're gonna love this. Come and get a hit of this gas. Ooh, baby, I don't like that. Go ahead and pass that. That ain't nothing but ass. <laughs> gas or ass. Yes, baby, gas or ass. Right now we are going to talk about our current obsessions gas is something that is fire it's something that's good it's something that you want to tell people you should try this ass is something that is terrible you should pass on it but i would have reversed it what i would have been like ass is good because ass no, is good and then gas is bad because you're like pee you stinky everybody we're smoker we're stoners it's the smoking podcast so gas is fire so that's why we're using it's a play on tutor boot gas oh, is fire fire oh my God, okay girl. <sighs> the slow bitch <laughs> she's like that sparks Anyway, it's gas, bitch. It's gas. Okay, I got it. We're ready. So, right now we're talking about our current obsessions. Uh, My current obsession. I read this book called Dark Matter. They ended up turning it into a TV show on Apple TV. And when I tell you I am obsessed, I cannot stop watching it. It is so good. Uh, The writer of the book actually ended up writing the show and actually is a executive producer. Um, So they have hella say on how the show is being portrayed. And it's almost a direct copy paste of the book. It's done so great. And so far I'm living for it. I think I'm on episode six. There's only one or two more episodes left. So probably going to finish that tonight. Okay. Uh, As (laughs) what I should give up, but I can't. I am obsessed with sexy red. And somebody needs to check me in somewhere because not a day goes by when I'm not just randomly skiing it out. Ski? Or I say, oh, 
baby. <laughs> or, <laughs> boy, you know this ass super fat. I like it though. Get it sexy. I have a problem. I only need two of those references. Oh, good. Don't fall under it because for a while I was so anti sexy. And then <laughs> I had one night where I was just lit. And I said, let me turn those to sexy red. And then I understood why the, the people are going up for the girl. No. Wait, does she have her baby yet? She been had that baby girl. Oh, okay. Ebony, what are you currently obsessed that's good? I am obsessed with House of Dragons season two. I heard it was trash. Oh, no. This last episode was amazing. Okay. It's on that episode four, season four, season two, episode four. Just watched it. I went through a lot of emotions because it was a great episode. I'm probably not going to watch it until the series is done so because I just like to weeks. wait. They're doing four more seasons, four more weeks, four more episodes. Are they finishing the series though? Oh, you know what? I don't know. Cause I didn't read the books for this. So but. yeah, I'm going to wait until the series is done. Uh. That's how I watched game of Thrones. Oh really? Yep. I waited until the series was done and then I watched it. I hope you stopped at season five. Nope. I watched the whole thing. That last season was garbage. Um, they rushed it so fast. It was rushed, but I still enjoyed it. I, th- the thing is, though, I watched it all in one take, and I feel like that is why certain shows you just have to watch in all one take. When you watch Game of Thrones, like in a binge watch setting, in my personal opinion, I felt like the ending was not trash. I thought the last season was fine, and that's because I watched the entire season one to season last basically I... in a month. See, the reason why I had most issues with the last season was just because the transition of her going mad mm-hmm. happened at the dong of a bell that had no reference earlier in the season. Or did I miss it? Well, some things you just don't. Some things happen like that, Ebony. Life switches on a drop of a dime. There you go. Bing. Oh, no. Now I'm possessed and crazy. See? <laughs> <laughs> it's close to midnight, bitch. It's up to evil's records from the dog. Okay. <laughs> and, oh, and what is ass? Yes, yeah, something um, terrible that you're obsessed with right now. Oh, oh, the, oh. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, That's only this week's uh, because the segment is gas or ass. But this week we're talking about obsessions for gas or ass. Next week it'll be something else. It might be a person. I um, this is ass. Mm-hmm. It is I am stuck on Avril Lavigne's greatest hits album. I just can't seem to let it go. I've like listened to it twice a day. Oh, girl. but I love you some ever. I'm just a skater boy. He says, see, see you later, later boy. boy. He wasn't was good enough for her. her. His uh, name or her name was her, her head was up in space. Oh right. We remixed it. It's cool. <laughs> like her name was Hey, hey, you, you, I don't like your girlfriend. No, yeah, something like I think that. you I need know. a new one. Well, Ebony, that has been the episode, girl. That's wait, that's it? Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> it's three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's three o'clock in the morning, and I low key wanted to film some content for my YouTube channel, but I think that I might just powder my face, go to sleep, and wake up in the morning and film it. <laughs> Two trailer park girls come on the outside. On the outside. Very that. Um, yeah, that's it. Episode one of season three is in the books, baby. We have uh, gone over quite a few things this episode actually we smoked on some 93 boys jealousy and thin mints how do you feel about that are you high boots i don't know when i walk uh can you rate the high one through ten right now just based off of sitting there i give it a good seven because i feel i'm probably going to be doing something when i get up because when i'm looking at those lights i shouldn't be able to see it like i see it it's like i see it And that's that. 
Um, we talked about some word on the street, baby. Uh, Doja Cat is over here uh, playing like her page is hacked. Megan's album was Megan's album, and Biden is determined to stay, to in, stay the in the race. And then we brought it to the light, girl. Where did that music coming from? That's not music. That's the train. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was like some violence. Oh, on a- girl. <laughs> Wait, not you tuning in some music. A shame. We, we we brought it to the light, and we discussed anger management and ripping a girl's hair out all because you couldn't read her back. <laughs> and then we wrapped it up with our question of the day: Has modern online dating ruined courtship? And I think our consecutive answer is yes. With a side of broken home. With a side of broken home. And finally, current obsessions, we recommend gas over ass. <laughs> and our gas this week is Dark Matter on Apple TV and, and House of Dragons on Max. HBO Max. They don't have the HBO on it anymore. Really? It's just Max. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. So, who's Max? <laughs> like, it's HBO. Okay. It's the same thing, but they just knocked off half the day. That's so stupid. Why would they take the, what everybody knows them as? It's home box office, HBO. Why would they take that off and just go as Max? Why do you call it? Oh, wait, is that what it's called? HBO, means? HBO stands for home box office. It's a, a box of office for boxes? That is not making no Ebony sense. Ebony Theater. What? When you go to the theater, you're going to the box office to get your tickets. I, thought, home you were saying, box I office. thought you were going to say box seats. And I was like, what that got to do with the balcony? I was, but I get it. HBO do better. Yeah. Y'all should have oh. just kept that in there. Ooh. What? I feel like something went through my leg. Oh. What? It's just me. Nerves. See, there goes that violin again. What the fuck are you going to? Oh, hell no. You got to get out of the house. <laughs> she going through some shit. She got to go. She gots to go. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> With that being said, y'all, welcome back to the podcast. We are so excited for the season. And uh, we hope that you are as well. Yeah. And we will be back every Wednesday. Episodes dropping. Let's. Well, let's, let's YouTube's on its BS sometimes. Yeah, sometimes YouTube be on its BS, but most of the time it's me on some BS, so I'm just going to try to make sure that I have them scheduled. <laughs> and we'll blame it on YouTube if it's not. <laughs> and we'll blame it on YouTube <laughs> if it's not. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's good to be back. We love you, and we'll see you in the next episode. Remember to always lead with love, and that one blunt a day keeps the bullshit away. All right, y'all. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Boop, 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 bo